Ignore that. Okay, well, I'm gonna need my glasses for this shit, because this is... No, even with my glasses, I don't think I can see this. Why is the window so small? No, hold on. I'm just gonna take a screenshot of this. Hold on. Okay. Um... OBS, please. OBS, please. OBS, please. I hate OBS a lot. Alright, fuck it. Let's just play this damn game. Before I start losing... Did the game just crash? Are you telling me the, g the game just crashed? I haven't even started it yet. Uh... Uh, this is so scuffed. Oh, okay, it, it's working. It's working. Oh, okay. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is a more acceptable window size, but it's still kind of small. Uh, okay, hold on. Uh, improvisation. Uh, we'll just leave like the the black spaces on the side. Looks better like this, right? It looks better, right? Okay. Also... Hmm. I didn't think- I didn't know this was the... The title screen music. Honestly, I was expecting Masaki Endo to... To just play Vital, but okay. Like in the anime. Cause yeah, this game has an anime, by the way. It's a really good anime. And the opening is done by Masaki Endo, who is great. Eric... Uh... Arrow keys, okay. Okay, it's the same shit. Oh shit. A blue full moon. Is it night? Where am I? I... Was that a hospital? Ah, oh, that's right. I'm pretty sure I was in the medical examination room. At any rate, I gotta hurry and find mom and dad. They should go Cool. There's a white chair. Strange moonlight in illuminates illuminates the room. Okay, well this is not a good start. Um, what a blue and beautiful moon. Doesn't even look real. Probably because it isn't. It's unfortunate that I already uh, I've already seen the anime, so unfortunately I know what's gonna happen in the story. This isn't the same hospital as before. It appears uh, to be for inserting key card. Uh, uh, it appears to be a gate, though it's shut. Something's written on the wall. Who art thou? To know thou must find out for thyself. Is it thine true self? Or thine desires, desired self. Oh my god, please, shut up. An angel? A sacrifice? Know thyself, and the gate shalt open. 
Yeah. Question mark indeed. There's a computer that's turned off. There's a machine with a card inserted in it. In it. it appears the card cannot be taken out. It looks like a it looks like a security camera. It is mounted on the ceiling. It appears to be a mirror, but your reflection is absent. Oh. Your reflection is cast in the mirror. Uh, I forgot this had a game. Yeah. I've been meaning to play it for a very long time. Uh, but I just never did. Love the anime though. As a... Like, the opening is done by Masaki Endo, who is just so good. Just my usual self. Oh. The computer automatically powered, uh, powered on, initiating some sort of program. The info screen is open. Enter data. Please answer the following. God. Name? R Rachel Godna. Age? 13. What are you doing here? I'm pretty sure I was at a hospital. And when I came to, I was here. Why? 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 Why the hospital? I saw someone. I saw someone die. It happened right in front of me. So I... Uh, so I was brought here for counseling. What will you do now? Leave this place. I want to see my mom and dad. Entry complete. Disturbing place start... Uh, serve and place start key card. What? Okay. The computer is off and shows no sign of powering up, even when pressing the, its buttons. Uh, a card is sticking out from inside. Acquire the card. Can I get out of this place if I use this? Still, I wonder. Oh, uh, wait. Still, I wonder what it means by play start. Is it still... No, I, I... Yeah, okay. It appears to be for inserting a key card. Yeah, okay. So I have to use it from the... From the menu. Alright. Insert the key card. This elevator. It only has an up button. That's odd. I don't remember being here in this basement. They're good. Uh, hopefully there's no background noise. I mean, there's enough noise as it is. The girl on the bottom floor is here by a sacrifice. All floors, please make preparations. Beyond here lies the play area. The gate will now open. Okay, I really need to turn this volume down. Uh... That, um, that announcement just now, what did it mean? Can I... Uh... No. Okay, never mind. Can I... I can't. God damn it. There appears to be an elevator that goes to an upper floor. The elevator only has an up button. Floor B6. The elevator stopped. What are you playing now? Uh, Satsuriku no Tenshi, or Angels of Death. This, uh, it's, a, it's a game 
it originated as a like an RPG maker game and uh, it got like a manga and anime adaptation and the anime adaptation has an opening done by Masaki Endo which I keep mentioning but like I, I need to get this point across all right Masaki Endo is a fucking god anyway someone put him in more stuff that may he needs to make more openings Last thing he was in was Sakugan. Uh, I'm inside a building? Something's not right here. Anyhow, where's the way out? Uh, flies buzz around the garbage. It says B6. The elevator is not working. There are heaps of garbage. Gotta hurry. There's a poster, but it's too tattered to make out. I don't recognize this place at all. Oh god, I, I, I can't wait to see how badly I'm gonna butcher Zack's voice, because I'm basically gonna be doing a Bakugo impression here. Why? Why am I here? There's a newspaper. Will it shed some light on this place? A reckless murder. Oh wait, a reckless murder? With a question mark. On Day Redacted, the body of a male was found on Street Redacted in State Redacted. Uh, the body was... Uh, the body has gaping wounds seemingly inflicted by sharp blade. Authorities, uh, authorities are treating it as a murder. Uh, since last month, a string of similar murders have taken place in this state. No association, no association or sim similarities have been drawn with the victim. So nearby residents are asked to exercise, e exercise caution. An article about murder. Murder. How do you say words? It looks like a back alley. I'm a little scared to go down it. Lame. Yeah, I know I am. You don't need to call me out. Something smells awful. There's a door, but it's locked. Okay. That can't be. This is the building's basement. The door is shut and boarded up. I can see a brownish red stain in the back of the road. Is that... Is that what I think it is? I wonder. Something smells awful. I think that's me. No, I think this is the right way. Or is this the right way? The door is locked, but there's no keyhole to be found. An emergency exit mark. Next to it says elevator passage. Is the elevator in there? But it won't open. There's not even a keyhole. How am I supposed to open it? I gotta find a way to open this door. Guess I'll take a look around places I've yet to explore. Oh. Oh. Um. Questionable, but okay. There's a lar large shovel. It looks a touch heavy to carry. The door is locked. Oh. Okay. A back alley murder. On date redacted, yet another body was found on street redacted and state redacted. A nearby resident was found in the town's back alley. 
It's believed to be a teenage boy, but his identity is unknown. The body sustained severe lacerations, and the incident is being treated as one of, one of several serial murders. Serial murders? Moidos. Can I just say Moidos? Graffiti. How is it that I'm indoors, but it looks just like a back alley? Good question. There are traces of reddish brown splatter of some sort. It reeks of blood. Well, that's what it probably is. Something's inside the hall. Acquire the key. What door does this key open? The back left door doesn't have a keyhole, so it must be meant for another door. Uh, Someone befitting awaits you on each of the floors here. Each are bound by a rule to never leave their floor. If you value your life, you have no choice but to ascend the floors. I'm realizing that my mic is probably cutting out my whistling. The door is shut and boarded up. Okay. We go over here. The door is locked. I have a key. Using the key, open the door. Wait, what is this? Nothing. A serial killer. On day redacted, the remains of John Smithy were found in a factory in town redacted, state redacted. Based on the wounds, it is believed to be the work of, uh, of the serial killer who has shaken up this town. The factory worker, John Smithy, 26, was a hardworking, earnest, and upstanding young, ma young man. The incident occurred on the same day he had excitedly told co-workers that he was getting a new car. This random murder spree was plunged uh, has plunged the town into fear. I'm inside a building, aren't I? There's some sort of drug. I want to get out of here now. There's no water running. There's a large box, but it's rusted shut. It appears to be empty. It appears to be empty. It appears to be empty, just like my soul. It appears to be some sort of factory machine meter, but it isn't working. It, ap uh, it appears to be some sort of storage cabinet. It is shut tight. There appears to be some sort of staff uniform inside. It's funny how it's when... When analyzing, she always says, it appears to be blank. <laughs> There's a large box, but it's rusted shut. There's nothing inside the closet. It's signed with expired canned good, 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 goods. God damn it, man. Uh, expired canned goods and condiments. Old tableware is on the shelf. Trash is staring everywhere. The only thing left is the large box. Single bag of snacks. Acquired a bag of snacks. Alright, we know what we're eating tonight. What a waste for a box this big to be empty. Heck. It looks like I could fit myself into it with room to spare. It's a sofa with tightly coiled springs. There's an old mattress. The box only contains junk. Door is locked. As always. Wait. I only have a bag of snacks. Where 
What kind of snack food is this anyway? My stomach's not growling, but I'm really curious. Can I save? Oh, I can save anytime. Okay. Can I eat it? No, I can't. That's unfortunate. I would have loved to. I remember the anime rushed this part a lot, so you don't actually get to see like a lot of this. Like you don't really... You don't really get to see like the details of like the whole thing. Yeah. I think it's the area that was least explored in the anime, which, I mean, makes sense, because the first one... And, you know, the first episode is supposed to set up, like, the two main characters, but... I mean, still. Wait, actually... Maybe here? No. Some sort of drug. Um... Alright, we'll find out. Uh, the door is shut and boarded up. Hmm. Oh wait, there's... Oh, I didn't notice there was an alley here. Hold up. The inside of the locker is empty. There's an old discarded mattress. There are tin cans in the garbage can. It's a glass bottle. The contents have been drunk to the last drop. Speaking of glass bottle, I should grab a beer just because... It appears the door is boarded up, but the space inside lacks depth. Wait. Wait, he's he's looking at me up there. You see him? Oh no, that is that a Oh, it's a bird. Oh, I thought that was like his face with like the bandages and then like the red was like maybe his eye or something. But no, it's a bird. Because I can't see shit. A bird's chirping from the hole in the roof. Maybe it'll come down if I offer it food? That's what the snacks are for. Will I eat this? Open the bag of snacks. Is it hurt? One of its wings is covered in blood. Hey, are you hungry? Good. Eat it all up now. You're so precious. Um... I think that's a typo. Satiating its hunger won't help it fly. I gotta make you all better. It's alright, hold still. Now you should be fine. But I worry, so you're coming with me. Quiet injured bird. It's coming from the passage on the other side. What's that sound? It's scaring the bird. Uh... Passage on the other side. The passage... No, I gotta get out of here. It's alright, don't be scared. The door is shut, uh, yeah. 
Wait. Don't be scared. Let's leave this place together. Okay? Well, come here. Hold on, that laugh was good. Oh god, how am I gonna do his voice? Wipe that stupid smug uh, smug look. Wipe that stupid smug look off your face. And surrender to despair. I'll give you three sec. I'll give you a three second head start. How far? How far can you run? Now cry, scream, and beg for your life. Show me the despair of your face. Yes, more. <laughs> oh shit, he's fast. I gotta hide somewhere. Oh, the bo- uh, this. This. Huh? Where the hell did the bitch go? This room? Shit. It's locked. Guess I'll unlock it. Is it gone? I hope it doesn't come back. I gotta escape this place before it finds me. If it catches me. The bird. The door is open. I can go through here now. Did it unlock it? There's a locked hatch on the floor. It says in small print, elevator passage control room. Maybe the back left door will open from here. It appears to be empty. It's junk. I worry about the bird. The bird. It's ripped into two. At least let me give it a proper burial. Come here. I'll take you there. Is there anywhere around here that'll make a decent grave? What about some tools? I should be able to bury the poor little guy. Here with this shovel. <laughs> no. You're not my little birdie. Not like this. Not like this. You shouldn't look that. You shouldn't look like this. This is just cruel. I gotta fix you, little birdie. There. You're all better now. I'll make my birdie all better. Look. Good as new. All that's left is to bury it. Something's on the ground. Ah, come to think of it. I had a feeling that something fell out of its stomach earlier. Acquired the key? It's crazy that you swallowed something like this. Hmm. 
No, wait. Um, that's the hatch, right? There's a locked hatch on the floor. It says in small print, elevator passage control room. Maybe the back left door will open from here. Oh. Using the key, open the floor panel. Um, can I please? Okay. The narrow passageway continues down below. What's this place? There's a switch that says elevator passage gate. Will this open the back left door? I hope this means I can get the heck out of this place now. It's been locked. Appears to be empty. I gotta hurry. Oh, hi. <laughs> Peekaboo. Found you at last. Well, I locked the door. Well, I locked the door. Should have done that before. No head start for you this time. I gotta escape. No, actually, no, I kind of want to die, just to see. Okay. Alright. Game over. Alright. Okay. I just wanted to see what happens if you die. I was skipping through the dialogue without actually looking at the fact that I could move. Well... That's fine. Gotta escape. Hold it! Floor B5. Thank God, I didn't get caught. What is that? That thing? The quicker I'm out of here, the better. The elevator stopped. Also gotta find a way out. It appears to be locked. There's some sort of reservation list. There's a computer, but it's turned off. There are clocks and pens scattered everywhere. Nice clock, bro. There's a computer, but it's turned off. Wait, Rachel. It's me. Huh? Do you not recognize me? I was the one who examined you. Can you try to remember? I'm the doctor who gave you counseling. The doctor who examined me? Rachel, what's wrong? Look, it's me, Dr. Danny. Danya Dickens. Could it be? Doctor... Doctor Danny? 
my therapist. Let me get a beer because I'm kind of thirsty. Hold on. There we go. My bottle opener. Hold on. Everything is fine. Everything is towards the jobs. Uh, where is it? Ah, uh, okay. I wasn't holding it the right way. There we go. Cool. My therapist. You're a little confused, huh? But I don't blame you. This place is horrific. Rest assured. It is I, your therapist, right? Ah, that's right. Yes, doctor. Good. Besides all that, you're safe. Doctor. What on earth is this place? Also, something is chasing me. What is that thing? I'm not entirely sure myself, but the thing chasing you is probably the Psycho Killer. The Psycho Killer? This place. It's like a site for some game. Being hunted by a Psycho Killer has... Uh, being hunted by a Psycho Killer and good as dead if caught. It says that it chases the victims. Are you not hurt, Doctor? I was here when I came to. It looks like uh, there's no other, other staff here but me. Doctor, I'm absolutely petrified. Rachel, it's perfectly natural to be scared. At any rate, let's get going. If possible, I'd like to get through this whole ordeal alive with you. Yes, Doctor. The computer shows data regarding eye, eye, eye ailments. The garbage can reeks of antiseptic. There is some sort of medical chart inside. A lot, a lot of it appears to be about eye-related ailments. The glass shelf is locked. Ah, the equipment here is old. So it's a good idea to keep your hands off of it. We don't want your eyes getting hurt. The bed is neatly made. Aren't you tired? How about you take a nap? At a time like this? You're right. Well, Rachel, you must be as sharp as a tack to take notice of something like that. No, that's just common sense. But okay. Oh, it's locked. I'm pretty sure there was a key in the examination room. Hmm, I wonder where the key is. Oh, it's right here. Something's on the chair. Acquired the key. Nice job, Rachel. I'm pretty sure I was sitting here. You didn't try to escape? Well, I was worried about you. Besides, you've got a good head on your shoulders, so... I knew you'd make it this far. Should use the key from earlier. What's wrong? Using the key, you open the door. Perhaps the way out is... The way out is further towards the back. Let's proceed with caution. It looks there are multiple rooms. I think the one the back is the way out, so shall we look there first? 
uh, the one in the back. The glass wall is blocking the way to the other side. We're glassed in, as fate would have it. It appears you and I are trapped. This way is locked too. Shall we look elsewhere? We'll be fine if we stay together and take our time. Maybe I'll lead to something good. Something good for the both of us. Ah, this might this must be a private room. For patients? Yeah, a special one. It says it's an emergency call button, but it's already been pressed and it's unusable. Uh, a neatly made bed is enclosed within the railing. Do you know what your heart wishes for? Is it desire? If it's your impulse, then there is no point to resist. For being here, you possess no such essence. However, every wish has its price. You just don't break the rules. Rules? There must be rules for this place. For instance, that guy chasing you hasn't followed you all the way here. That's gotta be some set of... There's gotta be some set of rules in this pl that this place follows. What do we wish for? What does that mean? Well, different strokes for different folks. I guess for me, it'd be a set of beautiful peepers. I got a bad eye. Don't care for its color either. Rachel, if you, if I had peepers like yours, uh, it would be oh so lovely. Does he have to call them peepers? Can't he just call them eyes? That just sounds like a, like a slang name for penis. This is a patient's room. Don't be scared, Rachel. It's just a bunch of beds. I almost read bodies, but okay. Uh, the... In Travenous Drip, so has some li liquid left in it. The bed is neatly made, but it's a bit dusty. There's a glass window, but it has no depth. It looks like a prop. Some sort of scratch marks are on the window. Rachel, do you know what these markings are? Hmm. Here's a hint. Patients made these scratches. So what's their significance? Beats me. That's okay. Markings made by patients are of no consequences to you. The bed is neatly made, but it's a bit dusty. There's something written on the wall, but it's covered in dust and illegible. I gotta get rid of that dust. I wouldn't do that if I were you. You'll get something in your eyes. Okay, you do it. You have a bad eye. That's surely just some sort of patient's uh, frivolous whimper. Just a regular Joe's psychological gripe. That's all. Can you make it out? Nah, he got a bad eye. So it wouldn't do much of it wouldn't do much to read it. But the dust Stop right there. You don't want to get anything in your eyes. Take care of those beautiful eyes. I'm not calling them peepers. You got me fucked up. Take care of those beautiful eyes. Those beautiful, beautiful eyes of yours. Oh yeah. Come to think of it. I had the key that leads to the back. I feel like taking a look that feel like taking a look there pretty soon. Of course, it has been a pleasure being with you though.
We're glass. Okay. Okay, I'll open it then. It's dark, so be careful. An operating room? Yes, Rachel. I'm a little scared. Scared? Why? Hey, Rachel. Your eyes. Can I, can I admire them forever? Oh, Rachel. Your eyes are so beautiful. But they're shrieking with fear. Reduced to such dullness. It saddens me. Show me the true beauty of your eyes. Will awakening from this nightmare restore the beautiful tranquility that blue moon in your eyes? Of that blue moon in your eyes? Rachel. I love... I long to live beside those eyes. Doctor? Let's take a minute to look around here. Maybe I'll find something. I left something important around here. I gotta find it. Maybe you'll find some peace of mind too, Rachel. Now where did I put it? It was such a darn good piece of work too. It appears to be a device device used for surgery. There's a, a empty bottle and forceps. Water is now running. Rachel? Are you going further? It's dark in that hallway, so be careful. If you find what I'm looking for there, then please bring it to me. What are you looking for, doctor? Did you forget? Look at me with those beautiful eyes. I know you'll remember. There's a clue. My eye is Alexandrite. What is this place? Is what you're looking for around here, Doctor? There's lots of empty bottles. A liquid-filled bottle has something floating or uh, something round floating inside. Part of it is crushed, and the liquid is murky, making it hard to make out. If it's crushed, how can it be round? It would have to be like flat, right? Because it's crushed. I don't know. There's a bottle containing preservation solution. Beer time. Okay, finally my Steam friends list doesn't show up in the game window, so I don't have to dox my fucking VTuber friends that start streaming. Numerous glass eyes are inside. Take one. Which one should I take? A drawer labeled red, a drawer labeled blue, a drawer labeled green. Well, we all know the right choice here. Come on now. Acquired green glass eye. Some sort of machine is running. Numerous eyeballs are bobbing up and down in what appears to be a case containing uh, culture fluid. These are eyes. They're all blue. Someone tells me this doctor doesn't have good taste in, uh, in eye colors. Like, come on now. Numerous bottles are neatly arranged uh, on a shelf labeled brown. Numerous bottles on, uh, arranged on a shelf labeled the hazel. Neatly arranged on a shelf labeled blue. 
Also blue. Green. Green. Still green. Gray. And red. Hi. How are you? Um. Here, doctor. Green. I see. Did you pick this out for me? Rachel. I could have slipped into your subconscious. But you're getting warmer. Point your beautiful gaze, gaze at me. It's just me, Dr. Danny. Rachel, look at me. Can you recall what my face used to look like? Try to remember that we had sessions other than those in the counseling room. Secret sessions. I have no memory of ever seeing you anywhere other than the hospital, doctor. <laughs> Don't look at me like that, Rachel. Rachel, it's dangerous to go out by yourself. Uh, use for surgery. I have to pick a different eye. Numerous glass eyes are inside. Take one. Which one should I take? Red. Quite red glass eye. Here, doctor. Rachel. What a lovely red glass eye. I fancy this color. Is that why you chose this color? Were you thinking of me? Still, you were close, but no cigar. I'll keep it though, okay? Damn. It has to be blue. You got no taste, man. Which one should I take? Blue. Here, doctor. <laughs> Rachel, is this for me? You know I adore blue eyes, much like yours. But I don't need a blue one. To your eyes, this pales in comparison. For eyes of blue, all I need is you. Oh, Rachel. I was so careless. My glass eye is in a place that is locked. And the key was in my pocket all along. Here. Huh? Is it alright with you? I'd like you to find my eye. Will you do that for me, Rachel? Rachel? Rachel, hurry and find my eye. Why don't you look for yourself, doctor? Well, I'm curious if you remember what my eye looked like. looks like. Let... No need to worry. I know you'll find it in no time. Is it a crushed one? Oh no, it's a shelf. Okay. Is it this? This key, should it be used on the shelf uh, with all those glass eyes inside? Is this a shelf? Some sort of machine is running. No, that is not a shelf. Uh, labeled blue. Green, you know what? Just shelf of all those glass eyes inside. Which one?
They're all blue. Not a shelf. Uh, which shelf? Which shelf? I don't know. Somewhere that's locked. Here? Open the drawer lock. Wow, okay. A glass eye is inside. This glass eye. It has two eyeballs jammed inside it. Rachel. Doctor. Oh, you found it. This is what I was looking for. Is this glass eye yours? It sure is. Does it not make you feel anything? Remember anything? You must be dreaming still. Mind if I borrow that? I'm just not myself unless it's in. That's what she said. I must... I must have it in for both of us again. Like, I don't need to repeat myself, but that's kind of what she said. Rachel. Yes. Thank you, Rachel. I'm gonna put this in now. Could you go away in the room outside for a bit? You mustn't run now. That's funny. He's acting strange. I'm scared. Is it safe to stay and wait for him here? No. It's locked? Doctor, did you do this? I gotta get away from him. I need to find something to open this. I wonder if there's something around... Uh... Where the doctor was earlier. So here. Device used for surgery. Acquired a crowbar. Why do you just have a crowbar handy? I have no idea. Start to take care of that door. It won't open with just my hands. Yeah, I know. I... I'll just pop this into the gap. It's rigid, but... Just a bit more. There, it opened. Rachel... Where are you going? I, uh... Didn't I tell you that running's a bad idea? This is my floor. Doctor? If you run off to another floor, then I can't treat you. Now can I? No. Doctor. My wish was to just... Was just to gaze into your lying... Li living eyes. Not lying. What the fuck? But no, this won't do. Your living blue eyes are exactly what the doctor ordered. Ordered. That's why I gotta ask you, Rachel. Can I have your eyes? Let go of me. Never, never. Doctor. Oh, Rachel. Your face. Stop it. Let me go. The exuberance. What the fuck? Exuberance I loved. 
is no longer in your eyes. It saddens me so, Rachel. Can't you remember why it is you're here? Why this is happening to you? If you could, then, re then you'd redeem yourself. Let your eyes regain their luster. And come live with me, Rachel. No? Please, Doctor. Please let me out of here. Rachel. Still. Your eyes are s are more breathtaking than any other person's by far. Ah, let me go. I want to see my mom and dad. Rachel. There, there. You'll see your mom and dad in good time. They're waiting for you. In hell! What was that very weird, like, transition followed by just a, like, a, like an awkward cut? Okay, Rachel, give me your eyes. I, again? Rachel? Rachel. Rachel. Oh my. Your eyes are so beautiful. It never ceases to amaze me. Here. I'll release you from this right now. Alright. Let's go, Rachel. Oh, I'm as happy as a lark. You! <laughs> hey, Danny! What are you so happy about? I couldn't take it anymore, so I slashed you! Hey, little Missy! Going after you got me in hell of a mess! Do you want to live? If you do, then run! Run and squirm. Cling to your hope. Time to get slashed. Shit. Uh, what a dull reaction. Even with the tip of my blade pressed against you. You don't... Uh, you don't. Oh, wait, no, wait. Even with the tip of my blade pressed against you, you don't have the will to live? I'm a respectable male adult, so I'm not into shredding emotionless dolls. Indeed, very respectable. Betrayer alert. The sixth thro the the sixth floor's master has attacked the fifth the fifth floor's master. This is a violation of the rules. Along with Rachel, the betrayer also is now here by a sacrifice. <laughs> ah no fucking way. Shit, better run for it. Oh yeah. I'm not meant to live. I like how in the anime, like... 
uh, Daniel doesn't actually see Zach until until it's too late. But yeah. The glass wall is shattered. Shit, it won't budge. Not even if I beat on it. The hell am I gonna do? Who the hell are you? What are you doing showing up here like you own the damn place, huh? Um... I got a favor to ask. Huh? Please. Kill me. Don't ask me to do creepy shit like that. I got no time for crazy bitches like you. If you're just gonna spew out creepy shit like that, how about getting this door open? You got it. The elevator door is shut. Gross. Yeah, I know. I think I know. Uh, not here. But... Where was it? Was it here? No, it wasn't here. There was a locked... Oh, wait. No, it's not here. On, um... It appears to be locked. The key. Maybe the doctor has it. There we go. Alright. Not here. Inspect his pocket. Acquire the key. Oh, do you see him move? Move just slightly. Okay. Appears to be locked. If I used a key that was just in the doctor's pocket, just maybe. There's a switch that says the elevator pa elevator passage gate. Oh, this this oh, it's this. How are you the one who opened this elevator? Oh wait, hey! Are you the one who opened this elevator? Yep, that's right. <laughs> so it was you, huh? Hey, didn't you say earlier that you wanted me to kill you? Sure did. I'm such an idiot, so yeah. Let's work together to get the hell out of this place. Then, once you're rollicking outside with a goddamn stupid grin, I'll... kill you. Really? Well, that is, if you behave. Fun fact, this portrait of Zark... Uh, of Zark? Fuck is this Yu-Gi-Oh? This, por this portrait of Zack was used in the opening for like a wanted poster. Fucking love that. Okay. Alright, now let's get the hell out of this place. Zack. Isaac Foster. 
Hey. I got two rules. No fucking around and no prancing around all merry like. I got a big problem with fuckers who look so happy. Whenever I see them, I can't help but kill them. Whatever you say. Well, with that dead look in your eyes, I probably ain't got to... I probably ain't got to worry. It's chilly here. Shit. We're still only on B4? Let's get out of here already. Move it. Something's in the water. Huh? What is it? What the hell is that thing? No clue. You don't know? Then how the hell am I supposed to know? I see. Staring at something all day isn't gonna help you understand it better. Now move it. A grave? Oh. No wonder it smells like blood. Wanna try digging it up? Whatever. You're no fun. It's just a grave. Do you wanna get in it that bad? But this one won't do. It's already occupied. Something shiny can be seen in the grave. Reach for it. Huh? What the heck are you doing? What are you fumbling ar around here f Around there for? Is there something down there? I can't reach it. No, just do this. Ah, but the body. Its leg fell off. Fire the key. In. There's a dirt converter pickaxe. Isn't this the... Uh, there appears to be a stone monument. There's nothing inscribed on the back. What about the front? Graves of the impure. The pitiable, unwanted... Uh... By the master and his angels. Awaited to be purified. Plummeting to the depths and be buried in the ground. Door is locked. The name engraved on that. The door is locked. Mm -hmm. It says graveyard one. Door is locked. This graveyard too. Because you have to go down. The door is locked. More key. What are you waving that key around for? Okay, it's not this. It says more. Oh, this is the one. Okay. Using the key, you unlock the door. Man, it's freezing in here. The air is damp and reeks of chemicals. I don't want to stick around here for long. Gotta find a way to get it. Get the hell out of here. Cleanse thyself. The master expects a pure soul and body. Especially body. It's an empty coffin. An ice chilly, uh, an icy chill, uh, pervades the air. 
It appears to be a gigantic freezer, but it's it's locked. Oh, wait, there's something in here. It appears to be a gigantic freezer. The top has been left open. There is a small piece of scrap paper inside. Watkin Beckett, 36. P.O.D. Uh, B3, C.O.D. Blood loss. Oh, cause of that blood, blood loss. Uh, from bullet wound. Mr. Beckett had the B4 key on his person, but it has yet to be found. It appears he lost it. Due to several injuries, the caution when handling an arm was lost while being cleaned in a tank. This guy died? Yep, says B3, so it's safe to assume he died there. We're on B4, which means there's still more floors above. Are you familiar with this place? Well, I guess you could say that. I'm just here because someone told me I could kill whoever I want. The same goes for the guys on the other floors too, huh? Even I'm not up to their... Even I'm not up to on, on, on the details. I see. Oh man. Messing with the graves earlier made my hands re re reek and all gunky. The wall is crumbling. This place is damp and turning to shambles. What a dump. There's a crack on the wall which has created a hole. Peering into the hole reveals a space on the other side, but it's too dark to see anything. Alright, Zack. Smash it. Damn it, Zack. You can rinse your hands off here. Oh. That's a tad better. Ah. Something shiny is in the water. Acquire the key. Guessing it's the key to here. Give your one key, yeah. Using the key, unlock the door. Another grave? One after another. Why the hell uh, would you need so many graves in a place like this? The holy land of the... Uh, the holy land of... A holy land of the coveted. Uh, those the master coveted, those pure angelic adorers, and those exceptional, shall lay thyself to rest for this magnificent privilege. But heed my words, wicked souls that betray the master shall be damned here in the eternal hell. There's a deep hole in the ground. There's a new gravestone. The name is meticulously engraved on it. Huh? What's wrong? Something's written on it? A name's written on it. Duh. All gravestones have names on them. What are you freaking out over? It says Rachel Gardner. That's my name. My name's written on it. No way. So mine's this one? Shit. What is it with this fucked up horrible place? Oi. Oi, don't stare at the gravestone. No offense, but I've got no intention of dying with you. Okay, we're getting the hell out of this place one way or another. It 
It's a new gravestone. Rachel's name is craved on, carved on it. There's an odd looking stone. There's a fairly, fairly large crack in the wall. There's a weird hole here. I'm not gonna fit in there. Guess we're out of options. How about I go? Huh? You're just saying that so you can bolt. I won't run. Not until I'm killed. Damn, you've been giving me the creeps for a while. But enough about that. At any rate, we can't just sit here and do nothing. Go take care of it. Oh, if you die, then give me a I'm dead to let me know. I can't if I'm dead. Shut up. In that case, at least be useful before you die. <laughs> Imagine you just die, you just go like, Yo, my guy, I'm dead. It's like, what, you dead? Yeah. Fuck. There's, there's a fairly large crack in the wall. Go in. There's a sword, clothing, uh, and gloves inside. There's a gray stone design schematic, but it appears to be a child's handwriting. There are other schematic, schematic S documents, but I have no idea what they're what they're for. So clothing and gloves inside. What appears to be numerous shovels and tools are inside. The door is tightly shut. There's no keyhole. It appears to be an order from for shovels, hammers and pickaxes. A design for a gravestone is written on the sheet. It appears to be to be an inventory for gravestones. There's a torch inside the box. Prior to the torch. This might be of use. Wonder if there is some mechanism to open it. Can you hurry the hell up? I'm getting impatient. Okay, fine. Think I'm joking? Piss me off and I'll kill you without even batting an eyelash. Come on, get a move on. Okay, I guess I haven't finished yet. Okay, so I forgot to read that because I thought I had already re read that, um, but I read it in my head. Um, there's a lot of them all jumbled together, but all of them really look like a kilo. <sighs> this is a dead end too. Hmm, what to do? 
guess I'll go back for now. What's up? This gravestone. This gravestone gets on my nerves. I want to smash it to bits. Your weapon could probably give way first. Shut up. You don't think I know that? Never mind that. Did you find anything on the other side? The passage leads to a room that winds around to the right. There was a door there, but it's but it was locked, so I couldn't go any further. The door has no keyhole, so I think there must be some kind of mechanism that opens it. You don't say. Well, keep looking. Okay, but could you look here too? Well, huh? door mechanisms and I don't get along. Yeah. Fine, now go. Okay. Hmm. Huh? Got something else to report? Do me a favor and don't destroy my grave. Who gives a flying fuck? A way to open the door. Come to think of it, there was some sort of strange schematic earlier. Hmm, I wonder. I wonder if it's. Schematics underneath here. They're different than the others. I suspect it's a, a clue for the mechanism. Hmm, this sequence of squares. Tap punk. Lock mechanism? Where the hell am I supposed to look for that? The only thing around here is graves. But I guess I can't just sit here all day. Fine, I'm game. I'll just have a look around and take a, take in the morbid sights. But man, this crew is freaking annoying. Nothing would make me happier than to smash it. But with but as the little shit said, that'll ruin my blade. Maybe while I'm at it, I'll pick something that could smash it. It's a new gravestone. The kid's gravestone, huh? Tim. Even the letters are carved into it. Mine doesn't have that. Well... Even if I had them, I couldn't read any- I couldn't read- <coughs> Sorry about that. Even if I had them, I couldn't read them anyway. There's nothing inscribed on the back. Name engraved on it. Oh, there we go. There's a dirt covered pickaxe. Oh, this will do nicely. Let's try pulverizing that gravestone with this.
There's another looking stone. Destroy grave. God damn it, it just won't break. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. This damn rock giving me trouble. For shitty gravestone, you sure put up a tough fight. Oh, it just occurred to me. The other gravestone are now fair game too. Whoa, they break as easily as Tinker Toys. I'll keep smashing him until I feel better. Is this a grave? Oh well, it doesn't matter. Whoever made this grave, take that! How about I smash all of the graves on this floor while I'm at it? I mean, graves are just a bunch of stupid ass corpses. It's a new gravestone. Rachel's name is Crave. It's carved on it. Didn't she say not to break this one? Shit. What the hell is she clinging to, to a grave like this for? Grayson is broken to pieces. Almost there. Nice. Is this all of them? Huh? What was it doing again? Oh yeah, the mechanism. I was so busy smashing that I wasn't keeping an eye out. Was there something? Maybe it wouldn't hurt to take a look. New gravestone. Rachel's name is like name is carved on it. Didn't you see not to break this one? Shit. The gravestone is broken to pieces. Some sort of switch is invisible to, in the debris. Huh? <laughs> hmm. This sequence of squares. There's a hundred... A hundred? There's 16 of them. And a calculation for them is right... Is written below. Is this referring to graves? What's that awful sound I've been hearing all this time? If this is the graves, then by matching up the circulation with them... Just maybe something will happen here. What the heck is that sound? The door's back open. Did he open it? The door is unlocked. How do you unlock the mechanism for this? It's dark. I gotta turn up the... I gotta turn on a light. Does this game have multiple endings? I don't think it's do it does because it's like a linear story, right? It's like in the anime. Oh. 
Wait. Oh. I was just waiting for the screen to go back and I was like, oh, it's dark. Gotta turn on the light. Oh, wait, I'm back here. There's a filter pen. There are numbers of, fl of field rest restaurants. Ah. I'm starting to feel sleepy. What can... Beck Beckett. This name I saw it earlier. Uh, a bottle fell, but it's fine. It was empty. And it hasn't broke. And didn't break, so. Um, are these resumes of everyone who came here? And just as I thought, it looks like this guy died here. An unfiled resume slipped out uh, below the files. Resumes are scattered about. Hold on, give me a second, yeah? I just realized my my mic is muted. Resumes are scattered about. This one has my name on it. Uh, it talks about me in great detail. Hmm. And there's another one. This one's someone else's. Isaac Foster. Date of birth. Uh, unknown. Estimated age, 20s. In childhood, there's evidence that he was placed in an orphanage. The institution was unauthorized. There are four deeds of surrounding it are unknown. Possible trafficking. The institution was later charged for sub substandard living conditions, but Isaac Foster uh, was already missing by then. Concurrently, the bones of several children were found in the institution's yard. Moreover, I also found what is uh, believed to be the slaughtered 
bodies of the uh, proper pro proprietors. There is a large gap between the period of death of the slaughtered children and the proprietors. Based on the slash, based on the slash wounds on the bodies uh, inside the institution, the suspect is believed to be Isaac Foster. The whereabouts of Isaac Foster are currently unknown. However, he is involved in a series of psychotic murders taking place in State Redacted several years later. The murder scenes extend several locations. Uh, no obvious dis disposition for rituals at the time of the crime. However, has a tendency to strongly react to human emotions. Possesses a great physical prowess, but is poor at planning. Uh, planning lacks education intelligence. Uh, is poor at planning and lacks. Yeah, okay. Lacks education and. Yeah, uh, okay. Uh, furthermore, his entire upper body is bandaged due to burns that were believed to have been sustained during his stay at the facility, uh, at the facility in childhood. Edit. <laughs> was originally assigned to B6, but was reassigned due to a rule violation. Cause of death, blank. Victims blank. This is probably him. He committed murder at the institution where he lived. And he is a serial killer. He has been murdering people ever here ever since. The cause of death and his victims are blank. If I die, then my name will go th will go here. He's on the run now, though. I wonder how many he's killed. I'll take back to him. I'll take this back to him for the first time. But for the time being. I just realized something. Come to think of it, I haven't uh, looked in the back of this room yet. I, I want to check something, right? Contains a sewing kit. And something wrapped in a handkerchief. Damn it. Books uh, appearing to be about philosophy are arranged on the bookshelf. Books on religious subject matter are arranged on the shelf. Hmm? I feel like I'm not familiar with the subject matter. It doesn't really make sense. Indeed. There's a document with someone's name and work his uh, and work history written on it. It appears to be a resume. Hearing about the occult uh, to be about the occult or arranged on the shelf. Uh, picture books for children, arranged on the sh on the shelf. The gravestone catalogs are arranged on the shelf. The document with someone's name and work history written on it. It appears to be a resume.
Numerous books are lined up uh, side by side. There's documents with someone's name and work history. Yeah, okay. Don't think of it. There's more in this room at the back. Take a look one here. Okay. Is this the back? Yes, it is. I can make out something in the back. Is that a door? It wouldn't hurt to check. Hmm? What's this hollow spot? If I stand here on top of it, a switch sounds. But nothing happens. Or a sadly shot. There's no keyhole. There's some uh, sort of mechanism like hollow spot on the floor. But standing on it doesn't open it. <laughs> Is somebody there? Um... I know what you desire. I, I like you. So I'll make you lovely. After all, this is my domain. <laughs> this floor is... Hey, what are you fucking around for? Hurry up. Better head back up for a bit. <gasps> What's this? What took you so long? What the hell were you up to? Should ask you the same. And any news? Beyond the door in the back right side, there was some sort of archives room. There was another door in the back of the room. The back of the room too. Uh it also had no keyhole and was shut. Uh, another one? Oh, and I found this. Huh? A resume. A resume? What's written on it? It's about me, Rachel Gardner. Uh, guess what? So, I'm at work right now and... Well... A bee flew in the window, so my reaction was to look at it hopping. Look at it hoping it would fly back out the window. So I grabbed my keys and walked out the door. It's just a bee. The fuck are you so afraid of? That's worthless bullshit. All it does is tell your story. Nothing more, nothing less. Also... There's also one for some guy named Isaac. Is that you? And... What are your impressions from reading that? Yep, that's right. I'm Isaac Foster. Your impressions? Nothing special. It's a sheet of paper about you. Nothing more, nothing less. Are you not afraid of me? Afraid? No, I'm not. 
I really don't like anything alive that's not a pet or a human, and you're just a pussy. The fact that you even like humans is disgraceful. A girl like you once said the same thing a long time ago. At first she was afraid, but once she got wise... Uh, but once she got wise to me being the serial killer in the newspapers, she started acting different towards me. Then, she wouldn't shut the hell up. I'm not afraid of you or... I'm your biggest fan. It was cute. So I gave her a 5 second head start instead of the usual 3. Too bad she didn't get far. So when I tried to kill her, she went batshit crazy. I don't know what the hell to make of it. So I told her to hold this if she wasn't afraid. Then, she screamed that she only said that because she feared for her life. I guess the dumb bitch thought she could ass kiss her way into surviving, eh? I hate liars. So, I killed her. Is that story supposed to relate to my request to have you kill me? Eh? If I took the same uh, if I took the same approach, could I get you to kill me? Oh yeah, you gave me three seconds, not five. Are you fucking crazy? Oh shit, that's right. This bitch wants me to kill her. So her not being afraid means... What's wrong? None. So hey, why aren't you afraid of me? I don't even know you very well. Know me? You read that paper, didn't you? What are you, illiterate? I read it. But I just met you earlier, so I don't know how I don't know much about you. Therefore, I have no interpretation of you. Yeah, have it your way then. Oh, and is that all? Um, there was some mechanism in front of the door. I believe there's probably another one, so I'm gonna take a look around here. I see. Oh, and something else. You're still not done? I heard a voice. I think it's from the master of this floor. The voice said it knows my desire. <sighs> you don't say. Hey, let's move. Ah, but before we go. I just gotta smash this one too before it drives me up the fucking wall. Wait. Ah. This one's a stubborn one. Sorry, I'm OCD like that. This great sum being the only one left was bugging the shit out of me. Honestly, I, I kind of get that. Hey, let's head out. There's no grave for you here. Once we get out of that basement, I'll find you a nice one. Can I just like sleep right here under the microphone with the most fucking uncomfortable position I've ever seen? Literally, I'm like laying on my chair 
and on my bed with uh, one foot on my closet. Just right under the mic, right like where my computer is. I'll just sleep like this. Yeah. Let's just do this. I like, uh, I just stay. really uncomfortable actually oh my god fucking hell oh. god now I hope I had a webcam because that Fucking hell, that was the most uncomfortable thing I've ever seen in my life. Ugh. And not just visually either. Anyway, let's go. There's a small note. Also, did that stone just... Let me help you. Hey, you find something? It's nothing. The guy's stone is broken to pieces. You want to help me? Okay, kill yourself. Get yourself, give me the elevator, like, activate the elevator, door is locked. There's a small note. If you want to suffer, I'll make it painful. If you want to go without pain, I'll be gentle, whichever way you prefer. Let's go here too. There's a motor that's cracked on the wall. No way I'm fitting in there. Um. Oh, oh god damn it, man! It's broken to pieces. Oh, there's a small note. Hey, how do you want to die? What do you keep them stopping for? It says, I'll gladly kill you. <laughs> Something's floating in the water. Is that what I think it is? Oh, that? What are we gonna do with that?
uh, I'm not sure, but I want, uh, I want you to go in there and stand in the submerged hollow area. In the water? You want me to do what? If you're gonna cry, cry about it then. Hey, lady. I didn't say I wasn't gonna do it. Unlike you, there's no way in hell I'm... I'd die in a place like this. I'm half asleep, so I'm gonna be having some weird pauses. You've been saying this shit this whole time. Anyways, don't get any crazy idea about dying or being killed. I'm not gonna be stuck here any longer until I gotta be. Are you really gonna kill me? I'm such a nobody. If you want to die so badly, then why not just kill yourself? Because it's unforgivable. Huh? Why is that? Because it's... Will of God? Hell, if I know. Well... Even I'm not entirely sure. But if it's the word of God... Then it must be absolute. It's unforgivable. Oh, God says so, huh? In that case, you gotta prove your worth to me before I can kill you. What do you want? Make yourself useful. Also, if I'm gonna kill you, can you try to make it worth my while? Show anger or cry for your life. Show anger or cry for my life? You know, facial muscles to show emotions. Um, sure, you're... Wait, you know, facial muscles to show emotion? Uh, sure you're not already dead? I'm alive, so I want you to kill me. Ah, fine. Hey, can you give me a smile? Smile? I feel like there's a bit more life in this smile than there is in the one in the anime. Hmm? How's that? You're dead in the eyes. Yeah, that's no good. What are we, what are we wasting time? Uh, what are we wasting time in this crap for? Hey, so I just need to stand on top of that thing over there. Well, hurry and get over there already. It's cold and gross over here. Okay. I got... I gotta go back to the place... Earlier with all the hollow spot, you stand on top of it. I don't know what it, I don't know if I read things correctly. I don't think I'm seeing properly anymore.
There's a small note. Don't be startled. You know why? Because we are one and the same in, in our desires. It's dark. You gotta turn on a light. There's a small note. I shall grant you what you desire. But I've got my own desire as well. And? Dark, yes, or on the light again. A small note if possible, I want you to devote yourself to me. I mean, isn't it great being in love? There's Document with someone's name and work history written on it. It appears to be a resume. Numerous books are lined up side by side. There's a document with someone's name and work history written on it. It appears to be a resume. There's a document with someone's name and work history written. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's a resume file. There's a felt pen. There's a small note. I know all about you. You want to die, right? A small note. Right? So, just say yes. Door unlocked. Shit. How long do I gotta stay in the water for? Oi. Feel like someone's rang under my feet. That means I can move now, right? Wonder I was doing. Guess I'll head back to the hole she went in. So it was vis visibly submerged in the water. Uh huh? What the? Looks like some dumbass for forgot to pay the electric bill. Damn rat trap of a place. Upon peering inside the open grave, their eyes met. The graves, the gravestone, is destroyed.
No. She's still not back. The hell is inside there anyway? That bitch bolts on me. Nah, that would that won't happen. When what the hell is up with her anyway? She won't run she won't run in all emotionless. Yeah. Killing her, killing her would be so boring as fuck. Hmm. Apart from dead eyed, apart from dead eyed stare, she almost looked alive back then. Yeah, I'm about to go out of my mind. Not again. Uh, are you freaking serious? It's pitch black. Who's there? Oops. Your, uh, your grave desecrator. Huh? Howdy, Zack. Eduardo Mason. I had a nice spot for you with everyone else. But you ruined your own grave? You're insane. That may be true. Don't you think mine was a piss poor excuse for a grave? No. Damn you. Scary due to circumstances. Due to the circumstances, yours is a bit of a rush job. The whole only half drug. By the way, your tombstone's just fine. It fits you. It fits you to a T. You, uh... Can catch my... If you can catch my drift there. I... I made your grave first. Well, enough about you. I'm more interested in getting that girl's grave finished in. I'm in love. So it's been the same thing. Making graves for murder victims day in, day out. I was getting a touch a touch board. Sure, making graves is my passion, but the bodies that occupy them are not quite as lovable. Beauty is what they lack. But for that girl, I want nothing more than her to make the grave of my dreams for her. I think we're around the same age too. Most of all, I wanna show her I understand her. We're made for each other. That's not. I should definitely uh, be more beautiful, right?
Uh, maybe uh, that should be infinitely more beautiful than some sloppy and mangled corpse. Or should I say, desire it? Sloppy is perf is perfectly fine too. Are you trying to make me her? What? My sophistication makes the perfect match for her. Too bad I can't say the same for you. That's why the only one taking her life will be me. Sounds like some little punk doesn't know his place. Shit. Can't see my hand in front of my face. Fucking punk. Damn him. Hey, get your ass back here. It's cold. It won't open.
I am literally dying right now. Oh. Guess something's wrong with the torch. There it goes again. Is it running low on battery juice? Hey Rachel, I'll grant your desire. What was that? An icy chill prov pervades the air. It appears to be a freezer. Something's written on it. Only for my use. Some sort of fun is running. It's some sort of device. It appears to be a temperature control device. It has a bar for adjusting the weather temperatures. Okay. Oh. There's a thermostat displaying the water temperatures. All of them at once. Temperature is quite low. Is it? Um... I feel a tad guilty for making Zack get in the water. I'll raise the water temperature. Fill, it's filled with cold water. Uh, the water smells like a good sort of chemical. Tightly shot. Yeah, but there shouldn't be a keyhole. Uh. I'm in gay baby jail. Um, do I have anything? No, I only have a torch. Um, Some sort of fan is running. Temp the temperature and heat are displayed. The bar of the water temperature. If I raise this... Rachel, no! Huh? The lights. Don't act so surprised. The one talking to you this whole time was none other than me. There's no need to run. I won't fly off the handle and kill you like the others. Besides, I know what you desire. My desire? Yes, that's right. No worries, I know everything about you. That's stalkerish. Your father and mother, those, uh, those close to you, everything. If it were me, I'd take your life as painlessly as possible and even make the perfect grave for you. Plus, just look at me. You and I are even around the same age. We're practically made for each other. 
I... What are you using this island for? Please, Rachel. Please say yes. Hey, get back out here. I said get your ass back out here now. Shit. Can she not hear me? How freaking far she go in? Ugh. That grave digging dipshit. Thinking he can outwit me. That punk. He's in love with her and wants to kill her himself. The thought that... The thought makes me want to puke. I can't have her go dying on me yet. Hmm. She mentioned something about... Another room in the back... On the right. Isn't there a crumbling wall in... In the room on the right side? Guess I'll take a look. Alright, let's go. There's a crack on the, in the wall. It's, uh... Not here. Oh, there it is. Hey, can you hear me? Are you it? Are you there? Rachel, what's troubling you? Go on, tell me your desire. I want to die. Look, I told you so. Er, Rachel. Let me put you out of your misery. So? Will you say yes? I'm getting impatient. Could it be his doing? Tell me. Why are you with Zack? I promise to let him kill me. What? That's so messed up. I even offered to kill you myself too. But if I let you, then you won't be able to get... Uh, to get out of here. Is that all? That shouldn't be a problem at all. <sighs> Oi, can you hear me? Are you there? Ugh. Looks like the loudmouth's here. Choose who will be your killer. Him or me? My sweet Rachel. Let me lovingly put you to rest. Sophisticated? More like medicated. You're gonna kill her with that boring look on her face? What a fucking idiot. Oh, will you shut up? Rachel and I are talking. No, oh, hey, can you hear me? I'm not talking to her, to the grave digging dipshit. I'm talking to you. Me? Yes, you. Listen up. Don't think for one second that you can die on your own will. There's plenty of people in this building who'd love to kill you. But I'll have the honor. I swear to God! To God? Uh-huh. So make sure nobody else gets to you first. Okay. Rachel? Hmm. 
Hit that wall as hard as you can. Right. Chill. Where did that fucking punk go? Why, Rachel? Is it so wrong for me wanting to kill you? Of course it's wrong, you fucking moron. My, you're so vicious. Rachel, do you want him to kill you? He'll definitely bungle it up. Why not let me instead? I'll do a pristine job. Shut the fuck up. Show yourself so I can tear you apart. Rachel, you are mine to kill. Can you wait for me till then? Damn, the bastard bolted on me. You're just as you're just as much of a spineless wimp yourself. You'll be dead before I have the chance to kill you. Yeah. Huh? Like I said before, if you're gonna die, then at least make yourself useful first. If I do, then you'll kill me, right? That's what I've been saying. What you said earlier. God. You said God. Yeah, to God. You said that you swear to God. Is what you said true? You'll swear to God for me? You swear to God you'll kill me? Fuck's sake. Yes, now quit pestering me. I hate liars. I see. Gotcha. I'll do everything I can to make myself useful to you. Then we're good. So, what's the plan now? I heard the sound of a door open earlier. I think it might be the door below here. That kid is waiting, or so he said. The pickaxe is completely broken. This... I picked it up here. I busted up real good, real good earlier. This really came in handy. Should have made more use of it earlier. I had no idea this had so many this this had so much destructive power. Huh? Oh, I thought he was... No, I, I guess he's down here then. The power room. Funny enough, it still smells like dirt here. What in the hell? More graves? Hey. You get any ideas about going into any more holes? I said I wouldn't kill myself. <laughs> I suppose you did. Anyway, 
I've got no intention of sticking around this uh, dirt dump. Let's get the hell out of here. Ah, uh, wait. It says power room. Hmm? Hey, what's her name again? Nature Gardener. Oh. I'm taking you... I'm taking you along for my personal gain. But man, it's a pain in the ass to have you around. Right, Ray? Hello, we meet again. Out of my way, fucking brat. What makes you think I gotta do what you say? Hey, Rachel. Are you sure you don't want me to do it? Do you even know anything about who this guy is? He has no passion. He has no passion for grace. Uh, and a slovenly past. I read about his past in the document earlier. Then what's the problem? Why choose him over me? I can kill you too, you know. He swore to God that he'll kill me. That alone is everything to me. Who's this high and mighty god? That's crazy. This so-called god of yours never told me any of this. No such freedom exists in this place. The only freedom we're given is for our action on our own floors. And the right to kill. Hmm. You're not the one who will kill me. You hear that? How do you like that, fucking brat? Oh, how dreadful. I just wanted to bury you, preserving your beauty. But you know, graves are dark, cool, and comfy. At the very least, let me take you there. No, you worthless hellion. Shut up. It's not like you're any different from me. Just another murderer. Speak for yourself. For all your physical strength, you still haven't been able to catch anyone with that empty head of yours. Unable to kill anyone. You're just a useless angry mess. That's rage coming from you. You're the one who's desperate. Just a frustrated little dipshit who couldn't kill a fly is all you are. <laughs> Give me a fucking break. Shut your trap, you idiot. As far as I'm concerned, you don't exist. I'm after Rachel, you know. Rachel, I'll seal you eternally in a lovely casket of stone. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, not again. What the hell are you? You're like a turd that won't flush. I must kill Rachel. Ugh. Watch out. This game has no continues. Rachel, gone ahead without me. Said something about a power room, right? Should be somewhere around here. Go on, go turn on the power. Okay. Wait, Rachel. The batteries are almost dead. I gotta hurry. I can't. There's a deep hole in the ground. Where are you, Rachel? Not here. No. I'm not here. I, I'm, uh. I went out. Ah, so that's where you are. No, no, you don't, you don't see me. You don't see me. I'm, uh. The light won't come on. Hey, 
Found you, Rachel. Wow, this puzzle sucks. <laughs> wow. I can see why even the anime didn't have this. Like, fucking seizure warning. Wait. Am I actually going anywhere? Can't go back. I gotta hurt. What? Oh my god. Where are you, Rachel? I'm literally right at the entrance. You literally can't not find me. Um, this. No. Ah, so that's where you are. I'm, I'm literally... Blame come on. I was literally at the end. Found you. Wow, I hate this. Uh, no. Okay, fuck. I can't see shit! Can I please see where I'm going? Yeah. I can't. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Ah, so that's where you are. Shut up. What is this? Where's... Th Here's the power. Oh my god, finally. Even the anime didn't have this chase. Like, yeah, they know how fucking bullshit this was. Why, Rachel, why? I've made a grave for you and everything. Can't you take a hint? Oh wait, can't you take a hint? She's dumped your ass. Damn. Oh god, I love this in-game laugh for, for Zack. Ray doesn't want your petty and you... you uh, doesn't want your petty grave. Get away, traitor. Grave desecrate... De desecrator. Fiend. Rachel. Lose this fiendish ruffian and hop into my grave, what do you say? Hey, if you're so obsessed with grace, then why didn't I bury you first? <laughs> I got the perfect one picked out for you. Oh, I almost forgot. I'll seal it up tight, just like you said. And that's that. Thank you for getting that. OBS doesn't hear me whistling. Because it's OBS. Hey, not bad for a punk kid. The dipshit... The dipshit's six feet under, just just like he wanted. Fucking smart ass grave digging, fucking smart ass grave digging bastard. Something's on the back of his grave. There's a switch that says elevator gate. It's probably the elevator switch. Oh, push it. Okay. <sighs> now we should be able to go up. Nice. <laughs> At least I can say goodbye to this 
dirt reeking dump. And this is B4, so there's probably still more floor floors above. Uh when will it end? Um hmm? Did I make myself useful to you, sir? Uh can you quit calling me sir? Makes makes me edgy. How about Isaac? Zuck. Call me Zuck. Okay. Was I of any use to you, Zuck? Just a tiny bit. Oh. Let's get going. Okay. There we go. Cue the ending. So that was the first episode. They packaged like all five episodes into like one thing, so. Not exactly the type of music I thought that there would be for the credits of this game. Like not in the slides. <laughs> Okay, well that was only episode one. Now we gotta watch the watch. Now we gotta play episode two. But I'm gonna do that in. I mean, left for nine hours forty-five. So I still got like about two hours. <laughs>